If you're looking for an all-in-one solar storage and energy management system that provides true whole house backup with intelligent load control, then you need to take a look at the new Lunar Energy System. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're looking at the new Lunar Energy System. Uh, and Lunar is another participant in the modular stackable space. So you know we've been covering a lot of other uh, similar architected products here recently on the channel, Lunar Energy is another uh, entrant here with the modular stackable architecture. Uh, and of course, the advantage of the modular stackable architecture is that the installation can pretty much be performed with only two technicians and not having to use any special lift equipment. So it should really minimize the cost and logistical burden for you contractors out there. Um, also allowing you to install in tighter spaces than if you were to have to bring in a forklift uh, or, or use specialized lift equipment. All right, so let's look at the basic system architecture. Okay, you see the unit here is comprised of a control unit, which is your hybrid inverter. That's your, your top module here. And then up to six battery storage modules. Now each storage module is five kilowatt hours for a maximum total capacity of 30 kilowatt hours per stack. All right, looking more closely at the inverter now, in terms of output power, you have 9.6 kilowatts continuous power with surge power of 15 kilowatts for five seconds. Now that's really gonna come into handy when you're talking about starting up heavy motor loads like your HVAC compressor, for example. Now in terms of storage capacity, you can go as little as 10 kilowatt hours using two battery modules up to 30 kilowatt hours if you use six battery modules in a single stack. Okay, looking more closely at the battery now, uh, again, each battery module provides five kilowatt hours of usable energy storage. Um, in terms of weight, each block weighs 96 pounds. So uh, again, this is something that can be handled by two technicians. You don't have to bring in any special fork lifts or, or lift dollies or anything like that. It's designed to be a two person lift. No individual component weighs more than 100 pounds. In fact, the inverter component weighs about half that at only 42 pounds. Now these batteries are indoor and outdoor rated and they come with a 12 and a half year warranty. Now for load control, Lunar Energy provides what they call the Lunar Bridge, which is this device here, typically installed close to the battery inverter stack. Uh, and basically this is gonna do your intelligent load control uh, and your backup switching. So if, you, if the grid goes down and you have to be able to isolate the home from the grid so you can energize solar and battery power into the home, the Lunar Bridge does that. Uh, but it's also a, a full circuit breaker panel. You have 20 spaces, so you can do up to 40 circuits if you're talking about 120 volt circuits. Um, and it is compatible with the Eaton Smart Circuit Breakers. So again, your intelligent load control is gonna be software controlled. Uh, part of the Lunar app and the Lunar AI system so that you can get very granular as far as which circuits are allowed to run at what times to make sure that you're optimizing for battery runtime as well as optimizing for any time of use metering or time of use rate schedule that your utility may have. Also, I should mention Lunar is offering a 12 and a half year warranty on the bridge as well. Uh, that's one of the highest in the, in the industry right now and it is a full 200 amp pass through. And then finally, we have the Lunar Power Maximizer. So this is a, a DC to DC maximizer, or what we may also call a, a, a DC to DC optimizer, allowing you to mitigate shading at the solar panel level, uh, as well as providing module level tracking. So all of this makes up the Lunar Energy platform. Now, I actually had a chance to get a full walkthrough with Lunar Energy's CEO and really get a hands-on demonstration of how this system operates in the real world. In fact, I'd like to share some of that interview with you right now. Before we begin, what you're seeing here is a live operating system. There's actual solar panels on the real roof of the building. Uh, and then this is a live home battery system. This is all grid connected, and we can also turn off the grid to simulate a grid outage. So uh, I can start by describing what the product is and how our vision of a full ecosystem of home electrification has started with the Lunar product. Um, what you're looking at here is the star of the show, which is the Lunar System. Uh, what this is, is a, a DC coupled home battery system. And what you're looking at here is modular five kilowatt hour battery blocks uh, connected with a powerful 10 kilowatt inverter. Um, we call this the beauty and the beast. Uh, the reason it's that is because it's aesthetically pleasing. You'll see there are no 
ugly buttons to turn on, turn off. Uh, it's got a nice, uh, elegant and aesthetic appeal, which we think is important for homeowners because they're making a large investment and this is going to be on the side of the house for a long time. Sure. We didn't want sure. this to look like an ugly refrigerator or, uh, or I should say ugly HVAC systems out in the market. So aesthetics has been a big important and we call our products brilliantly, brilliantly designed for a reason. Um, and in addition to the aesthetics, we wanted to make the most powerful and uh, sort of resilient home battery system. Essentially, we're building this product to protect people from uh, extreme weather. So this product itself needs to be versatile and uh, be ready to face all kinds of situations. What do I mean by that? Uh, this is a you know, flood resistant product, which means you can submerge it in one meter of water and the product will still keep running. So it's, it's completely flood proof. So if you're in hurricane counties in, in Florida or Texas or anywhere else, you don't have to worry about actually having it submerged in water or your basement being flooded. Um, this is a very versatile product, so it can be wall mounted like it is right now, mm -hmm. or it can be floor mounted. Uh, so that's very advantageous. Many homeowners don't like things on the floor. Uh, if, if it's especially in their garage. Um, many a times in the outside of the home, you have gravel at the bottom, so you really can't put things on the floor. Mm -hmm. So you end up putting these uh, concrete slabs or pouring concrete, which is very expensive. So we wanted to give installers a lot of options to put it either on the floor or, or mount it on the wall. So Kunal, if you would, please give me a rundown on the technical specs of the unit here. I guess let's start with the inverter here at the top. So what are we looking at in terms of power capacity? Yeah, so this is a 9.6 kilowatt uh, inverter. Uh, okay. It goes on a 50 amp breaker, and it has a surge capacity of 15 kilowatts for, uh, for about 10 seconds. Okay. Uh, and then a continuous max power of 9.6 kilowatts. So 9.6 continuous output, 15 kilowatt surge output for 10 seconds. Yep. Now what about as far as PV input? How much PV could we connect to a, a single stack? Great question. So we recommend you could go anywhere up to from 12 to even up to 15 kilowatts of PV uh, DC, especially if the PV is east-west facing, you can go up to 15 kilowatts. If a typical south-southwest facing plane, then you could go up to 120% uh, DC ratio to get up to 12 kilowatts. That makes and, sense. And there are three strings of PV, so you could essentially string them, uh, you know, the max string length is 20, but you could also use three strings, and they all come very seamlessly uh, into the inverter wire junction box. Great. Yeah. Uh, and of course, it's high voltage DC input, so you can take advantage of that more efficient high voltage DC to DC solar to battery charging. That is absolutely right. In terms of additional equipment, I understand that you have an intelligent load control or, or what you call the bridge. Yeah, so behind you, Joe, is what we're calling is the lunar bridge. And the reason we call it the bridge is because this is the bridge between the home and the utility. That's why we wanted to call it the lunar bridge. And it, what is it? it? It's a, it's a, I can open it now. It's a multi-use circuit breaker panel. So it has multiple functions. Uh, one is, of course, you can see a lot of circuit breakers here. So it has, uh, you know, uh, 20 slots with 40 circuits if you quad them up um, and uh, so it so that way installers don't need an extra sub panel to put either the uh, lunar system breaker or any new charger breaker or if they want to relocate loads they can use this as the relocation panel most times you know I would say almost hundred percent of solar storage installations require you to put the breaker in some sub panel or the other. It's very rare to put the breaker in the existing panel of the home because homes are old, breaker panels are full, people have sub panels all over. So our feedback from installation community is that you always need some sub panel. And they love the fact that our bridge already has breaker slots. So, and they can put whatever breaker they want. So that's a plus. The second plus is, um, as you probably know, when the utility power goes out, you can't just feed solar and battery power into the grid because there could be a line worker working. Correct. So you need some sort of a relay or a transfer switch mechanism. And we have an inbuilt uh, sort of relay which opens up the moment the grid loses power. And then solar and lunar become 
the microgrid of the home. So that capability is also inside this breaker, um, uh, inside this sort of a lunar bridge. It also does all the metering for the grid. It also, it's always watching the grid because the moment the grid voltage or frequency sags or rises, it takes the home off grid. And that's why you'll see in a, in a bit when we do the demo, our backup is seamless. The customer doesn't even realize their home is backed up. And, and the reason for that is we react instantaneously to any grid fluctuations. And that's the se secret special sauce we have on our firmware side. So to summarize, the bridge has, it's a circuit breaker panel. It has a uh, integrated relay inside it. You can also put a main breaker in here uh, for various situations of installation. You may want to put a main breaker. It measures a grid uh, instantaneously. And then more importantly, which we haven't covered yet, uh, actually before I go into the, uh, the smart breakers, which is the next, the next thing I want to talk about, mm -hmm. it also has lugs where you can connect. If you really had a, um, a sort of a partial home backup situation where you could not back up everything in the house, you could connect your non-backup panel right into the, the bridge here. So you could have a separate sub-panel with the non-backup lugs directly connected here. If you really wanted to extend this to add more backup loads, you could add a backup panel here. So it's a really versatile product. And installers love how compact we've made it while still giving them enough space to move their hands around and actually install it. And also takes care of non-backup, backup situations. It's just that the, the feedback on this product has been very positive and I'm really glad to have that. And the final thing, which I haven't shared yet, is that this bridge is capable of installing smart breakers, which I'm gonna to demonstrate to you, where our philosophy on sort of breaker, on load control is that you can either give homeowners a complete smart panel to control every single breaker of their home, uh, which is good for some use cases, but it's expensive and it's, it's a big overhaul of their home, or you could focus on the four or five energy hungry loads in any home, which happen to be your HVAC, your EV charger, your oven, your dryer, your pool pump if you have one. So our vision was what if you had generation storage and control such that with every installation, an installer had four to five smart breakers in their truck and they put it on any breaker that the homeowner feels they want to shed in an outage. They want the ability to shed in an outage. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, we, we can go into the detail of load control at some point, but at, uh, right now I can share that this is a Eaton smart breaker. It's a two pole 60 amp breaker. Uh, they're coming up at 60, 50, 40 amp sizes. Um, so while we use an Eaton product and they make a great smart breaker right now, uh, this is AFCI, GFCI capable as well. Uh, it's fairly inexpensive compared to a full smart panel redo. More importantly, the installer who's buying and commissioning and installing a Lunar product can do all the commissioning and, and sort of uh, provisioning of these breakers through our uh, award-winning installation app. Like they don't have to actually go and use the, a third-party app or some other method. They could just use the Lunar app as they commission the lunar system and the maximizers, they can also commission the smart breakers. And we work very closely with Eaton for a very tight software integrated experience. So this is the lunar energy system. Uh, folks, again, I think what you're gonna find is that there's, there's a lot more competition coming in the home solar and energy storage space. Where lunar really has an advantage is with their lunar AI software. Uh, it's going to help you optimize as far as um, stretching battery runtime, but also really optimizing for time of use, uh, time of use avoidance for your utility. Lunar AI understands and it learns, it builds a model of how you use and consume energy. And of course, it also is able to pull in data from your utility as well as weather data to predict how much solar energy you're gonna produce in the future and, and likely when that energy is gonna be produced to make sure that you're optimizing for the best payback on your solar investment. Uh, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos you see on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like these coming out, it'll come up on your homepage and you can stay up to date with everything. 
Now, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of looking at different solar and battery storage options for your home, uh, if you want to get a price quote for the Lunar Energy System, right now Lunar is available in California and rolling out to other markets soon, uh, or any of the other leading systems for that matter, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below here, set up a call with one of our experts, or just use the free online calculator tool to see how much solar and battery storage cost in your area. But that does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.